Take your iPhone photography to the next level with Moment Lenses. This is Twit. I understand that photography is an art, not just about a great camera. That said, a good device with a great lens certainly doesn't hurt. I've been using the iPhone as my only camera for years now, and each new upgrade has offered me a pocket camera that's more and more professional. But when the folks from Moment sent me a few of their iPhone lenses to test, I was excited to make the camera on my iPhone XS Max even better. The first thing you need to know about the Moment lenses is that they don't clip on the outside of your phone as lenses like the Allo Clip do. The Moment lenses require a special phone case to secure them to your device. For this review, I'm showing off the lenses with the custom Moment iPhone case from Nomad. Now, I am a big fan of Nomad's leather products, especially their phone cases. And this case they made with Moment is no different. It combines style and protection, and it looks like any other nice high-end phone case, not like something you're using only because it fits your special lens. Moment the company started as a successful Kickstarter in 2014 with a 60 millimeter telephoto lens for the iPhone 5 and 5S. Now they create lenses that you can use with most iPhones, many of the new OnePlus phones, Samsung Galaxy and Note smartphones, and the Google Pixel. These Moment lenses are updated to work with the sensors in all the newest phones. Let's talk about design. These lenses are beautiful. They're sturdy and they come with easy to remove lens covers and microfiber dust bags to keep your lenses safe. As an added bonus, the dust bags are labeled, which makes them easier to find if you have multiple lenses. The Moment 58mm telelens costs $119.99 and promises to be the focal length equivalent of a full frame camera. This moment is optimized for dual lens devices and should allow you to get two times the optical zoom when you mount the lens over a single lens camera or over the wide side of a dual lens camera. Get four times optical zoom when you mount the lens over the iPhone telephoto lens. Optical zoom offers clearer and crisper images as compared to digital zoom. The 18 millimeter wide lens also costs $119.99 and allows you to take photos with more stuff in them without that fisheye distortion around the edges. The lens expands your field of view about 0.63 times magnification, which makes it great for amateurs like me, who just happen to also be on the shorter side. I'm 5'4", on a good day. And I was able to capture wide angles of landscapes and interiors without having to back up or miss the shot or stand on a table to capture the entire mess of my entire living room. A few words about iPhone portraits. When Apple introduced portrait mode a few years ago, I fell in love. I was one of the first people I knew with the iPhone 8 Plus and everyone was jealous of my bokeh. But fast forward a few years and now everyone and their little brother is using portrait mode and you begin to see how Apple and other smartphone companies still struggle a little with making the blurred background look real. I was hoping that the moment lens would help me up my bokeh game and it did. How about convenience? Now, some people might say that it's a pain to carry an extra lens around with you, but it's certainly easier, not to mention cheaper, than carrying around an entire DSLR camera. Ease of use. The Moment lenses connect to your camera with a simple twist and lock fiberglass mount that is super easy to connect. It's just one turn and you're in there. Moment competitor Sandmark uses a threaded mount, making it difficult to connect and easy to connect wrong. Not so with the Moment lenses. If you wanna switch lenses quickly, the Moment is a great choice. I love the quality of the photos I was able to take with the Moment lenses, both portraits and landscapes. I am a firm believer that most of us upgrade our phones too often. And if the only reason you're thinking of upgrading to a new phone is to get a better camera and your phone itself is fine, definitely consider investing in a Moment lens or two instead. If you're not ready to invest $120 in a Moment lens and you want to see what the company does, you can also try out the Moment app, which lets you shoot in RAW format and lets you control exposure, ISO, shutter speed, focus, white balance, and so much more. It's free with in-app purchases on Android and iOS. Keep up with all the hottest tech news and gadgets. Visit twit.tv. There you'll be able to find and subscribe to all our tech shows. Thanks for watching Hands on Tech.